uh, all right so what an incredible story it has been for the asian countries i mean the afc confederation where mm. three teams have done really well two were really close to make it to the next round of the world cup and how often do we see this happening very rare <laughs> and if talking about the rare we missed out talking about australia because i mean continent wise they don't come in asia but confederation wise they come under afc so we're going to yeah. start with australia while you fight for the second time to round of 16 the fifa world cup yeah i mean they've qualified for the second time since 2006 yeah. i recall um to be fair if no one saw australia no one took australia serious seriously because of their team they they had it's just there there wasn't such great material in that australian team but the compactness the 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 strategy that the coach has used for all world cup games in a group that has the current world cup winners and a team such as denmark which could potentially be a dark horse which would because now yeah. they're eliminated and uh, and a team in in africa that is slowly rising just like their progress has been uh, steadily improving every That's every year before yeah um but there was some progress in the tunisian team but uh, i guess that victory against france just proved just proved uh, tunisia tunisia's progress although france was although we can argue that they were playing the weaker side french side yeah, yeah, yeah. france was was playing like with all of the reserves i mean that happened with all the teams there. in the world cup isn't it like once they were uh, uh, sure about the six points they they just started feeling the younger players in yeah yeah they are feeling confident and everyone expects expects them to win but there are some upsets that can happen and uh, leave a bad mark for the country and uh, as, as soon as they get six points they're like sure uh, let's save up energy let's save up uh, our uh, starting players and uh, i guess tunisia beating france wasn't kind of a surprise because it was literally expected right although although they they went full force on australia <laughs> the first game it, it was yeah. like as soon as as soon as australia scored i was i was like okay it's game over then <laughs> france is going full force i mean they were and looking the, so good at that yeah yeah i mean they're they are compact on the defenses defensive line so i guess it's uh, i guess it's a bonus for them um I'm really surprised because I thought Denmark and France would go through. No one took Australia seriously. Yeah. Um they were they were just like that random team in Asia that would wouldn't get any points. They downplayed them a lot by a lot of margins. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it, it would just be an easy team just like Costa Rica even Costa Rica did some upset um although we will talk about them later on as we speak But about them do you remember But, our talk in the first match i, I was i was I, i said to you like that uh, if they keep attacking the, the, the way they on their first goal they will have good chance in the group and they were looking yeah. pretty confident that two against france who, who are defending world cup champions yep i mean they went through it's it's such a it's such a story then they moved on they they boosted their confidence one yeah. against tunisia one against denmark no one expected them to win against denmark yes although denmark and tunisia drew with each other mm-hmm. australia took this chance for itself so they can see what they're facing and um yeah. that compactness on the defense made a solid solid team at the back so i guess uh i guess the players of uh, like of uh, goodwin 
Mitchell Duke, Matt Ryan as well. Matt Ryan was very well known at the European scene. And he he's currently playing in Europe. Yeah. He plays with Copenhagen right now, as we speak. He used and, to play in um, Premier League as well before that. Same goes for Ryan Mui. Aaron Moy as well is also very known in Premier League. Yeah. Solid captain, I'd say. Maybe his team talk worked for Australia throughout could the be. World Cup games. Yeah. And but good one win. good thing was good win. <laughs> I mean, he didn't get them the good win in the first match where he scored the goal. Yeah. <laughs> I think he assisted in that match, first match. He assisted, assisted that goal, isn't it? Yeah. Against France. In fact, in fact, he has been involved. No, he was. He scored the goal. Games. Sorry, my bad. I will correct myself. Goodwin was he, the one who scored yeah. the goal. He's he's the only he's the only player who has been involved in all of his team's goals mm-hmm. alongside Mbappe, I think. Yeah. Um. So yeah, basically, you, you, he's a very good player. So. I saw him the other day with uh, Denmark. He was like, he was. He was uh he was doing his job as a wing back, but he he's better when he's he, he was putting in all all the like uh work rate that is required like, from from the winger. Co- yeah, yeah, covering off the left side. Yeah. Should so, be yeah, a, should be an example for the teams like Poland who have struggled, for Serbia who have struggled as well, and they are not Serbia is not going haven't gone to next round. Poland did, but. The end is of that's a different topic. But if we compare, that's the kind of work that you need in the team. Uh, I mean, yes. if you stay defensive, that's not the way. Which we did find, no. didn't find in play of South Korea and Japan about which we will be talking after this. So yeah, you got to attack. You got to get on your chances, and you have to be ambitious enough. And that's what Australia yeah. did. And all the, I mean, first match could have could have been different result had they been consistent with the attack. But come on, it's France. Yeah. They will try their best and try to win yeah. it, which they did. The odds, the odds against France are yeah. way too low. That is, that is true. And of moving towards the round of sixteen, they are going to face Argentina. To be fair, I, if I were an Argentine. I wouldn't un- I wouldn't underestimate that Australian side. Although yep. although everything can happen. We've seen upsets happen in this World Cup like it's nothing. So I guess a lot compared to uh, previous editions. Yeah, I mean if 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 it does happen then we <laughs> I I would definitely be way too surprised if they advance. On to the quarterfinals. Oh boy. <laughs> that would be some story to remember. Yeah, from from AFC to from the qualification round, from the playoff round with Peru, uh, participating in the World Cup, just wow. And, and it's not easy. You have to play so many stages to be be qualifying for the World Cups. Yeah. Also, they had to play one more game against Peru, so they could be in the World Cup in the first place. Yeah. So, but so, think, yeah, think, things are good. Like they are, they finished second and will be facing, not really facing a tough opponent. But that doesn't mean they can't try and have their full go at it. More so, it, it's a knockout yeah. round, and all the sides will be in the attacking mode as compared to playing safe in the group stage, which has happened in a lot of groups. Yeah. So yeah, basically, it, it would be nice to see an upset. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not? So we don't have a perfect prediction about Australia versus Argentina, but if they, it's their day. If they give their full, you never know what happens. They might surprise everyone. And that this could be most amazing World Cup that has happened in terms of results and the the teams which were not expected to perform performing well. Yeah, I mean the upsets are real. Just like the next team we're going to talk about, which is yes, which is Japan, the I team mean, Japan that almost off. almost made me cry on the stream. I, I just stopped it. I didn't want to, <laughs> but I swear, if they if they defeat Croatia, you can see some tears falling on stream. <laughs> that would be a natural well, thing. I mean, to be fair, they can. I mean, 
judging by how they 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 progress through the group um yeah. judging by how they progressed win against germany win against spain although they did kind of bottle it against costa rica which could have yeah. made them uh, could have made them through way more it would have way, made it easier yeah. Than, yes. yeah it would have been much more easier than the them pulling it off at the last game, but uh, oh boy, the yeah, upsets right. Japan has done! Oh, holy, wow, just amazed. I mean, look at even look at the timing of the substitutes, they were so efficient every time they put in Dawn, comes yeah. in, scores, comes in, scores. Uh, that has yeah, been I mean, it's a perfect, be fair. inch perfect. Yep, that's that's the definition of. Yeah, Japan's Japan's World Cup, group. and you know what was most amazing thing after qualifying for the next round, their fans were cleaning the stadiums, cleaning the stadium. That's what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, so humble, man, as well. Yeah, they were like, um, they were like cleaning uh, the stadium it themselves. So no down one to told them to do it. Kind of stuff. No one told them to do it. They they just went in and cleaned the place like they're so humble as well man like you're it's just like you incredible. expect teams to be like fans to be celebrating the having a good time on there doing some yeah. wild stuff weird stuff which fans do i mean it's a game of emotions emotions going to yeah take the things out of you but what a story I mean, for japan first match they free germany 2-1 after that would have wanted to at least but could be unlucky because keepers save tried to save that chance Costa Rica had, but it yeah. went in. Yeah. And in the turn I mean, match against Spain, I mean Spain was looking out of out of sorts, isn't it? Uh, out of shape. You yeah. Say. And even their I mean, build up was so shape. slow. They they were like they they thought they would secure the the. The top of the group, so yeah. they underestimated Japan or were in the second place. Yeah. Although they were expecting the result of Germany, which was winning, and Japan for, for just like reacted. for like few minutes, it was Costa Rica and Japan who would be going to the next round. There was it, a moment in the match. Yeah. In the group. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, that group was a roller coaster on the last match day, to be fair. Probably it the was... wildest group of this World Cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, to be fair. The real shocker here is Japan, to yeah. be fair. Um, so it was like Japan, Spain, Japan, Spain, Japan, Spain, Japan, Spain. Then on the 70th minute, Japan, Costa Rica, then Spain, Germany, then... <laughs> Yes. Then at the end, Spain, Japan. Oh my God! It was and towards such the end, a towards the end, there was interception from Yoshida. Alt had Norway. Yeah, they could have been on yeah, second spot. I mean, I I know, right? I mean, it's it's like holy, that group itself was a roller coaster. Yeah. As soon as Germany scored one, they scored first. They went second. Germany uh, reacted quick, but then Germany kind of underestimated the situation yeah. going uh, in Spain, Japan. The Spain scores, um, Spain scores, and then um, I mean both the matches went in similar fashion. Japan concedes the goal, yeah. and then they come back from that one little buffer. Difficult, very yeah. difficult. It, it was literally unexpected. The yeah. odds were high. The odds were high. I mean, to be fair, no one expected uh, Japan to win against Spain. But they, I mean, Germany had a chance after Japan winning against uh, Spain, but they had to score like uh, six more goals to, to make up that deficit for, True. Uh, f for from Spain. Uh, scoring against against Costa Rica like seven goals, so they had to like score nine against Costa Rica <laughs> that, so they can qualify. That was Imagine. possible task to do. Too much of work to be done. And yeah, Germany are themselves I mean, to blame. You can blame the manager as well for yeah. being after Thomas Wright as striker. 
Why would you? Why would you be after him? He should have realized that it's not the Thomas Muller who was playing in 2010, 2014. He has aged up, he's 23, and you are making him play as a striker. That was kind of absurd thing. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, putting Muller up top, it's it's kind of an odd choice, but. Uh, they underestimated the game. Uh, yeah. They could have. Uh, they could have made. They could have made up that deficit. Although the um, uh, Germany, as soon as as soon as they heard about the result of Japan winning against Spain, I guess they sort of let Costa Rica score twice, and then they thought they had hope. So Japan would uh, would get a draw out of this, and if Germany wins by two or more goals, they would proceed through. Yes, yes, it's it's it, it was a real real roller coaster there, man. It, it was incredible. I have a question to ask. Yeah, it's would not. you would you? Yeah, would you really consider Japan the real dark horses of this tournament so far? If you ask me for the AFC teams, they are definitely one of the favorites. One of the favorites from um, AFC region. The other ones, I think it's it could be Senegal. Don't be surprised if they do well against England. Um, Senegal or Morocco? Either of the two. But uh, if you look at the total balance of the team, Senegal looks much better, isn't it? The defense, the midfield, what? the wing, the attack play that the yeah. wingers get. To be fair, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, uh, I mean, I expect an upset from Senegal, but that's a different topic. Yeah, that's a different topic. <laughs> so we're talking about Japan, yeah. their story. Two incredible wins. And that, that two against the nations who have their name in the world football, Germany, Spain. It's How often that happens? Not much, really. It's it's Spain and Germany have a tradition, man. It's just like they are top teams. The, they have their reputation. Squads. Yeah, they produce they produce player on a reg players on a regular basis. It's not like getting a win against I don't know Costa Rica or yeah. or or I'd say. Iran. It's more like um, they have to do it in style. They have to do it in their the way they f play their football, which we didn't find happening at all. They do have the reputation. It's they produce, they produce players on a regular basis. Uh, yeah. Their teams, their teams are like the the biggest teams of of the world. It's like you cannot say. Um, uh, Barcelona and Bayern München are not yeah. top teams. You couldn't say that. Yeah. Also, they have left the mark. Uh, and to be missing the round of 16 for the, for the second time in a row. Yeah. Uh, if you ask me, do did I find flavor in the spin progressing through to the next round? No, I didn't find it in their performance. See, in all the three matches, it didn't felt like the spin that everyone has seen in the World Cups. Isn't it? To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if they get beaten by Morocco. But Morocco. Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised really because yeah. just by how Morocco has played, and they top their against, group. They top their group as well, which is kind of impressive. Not kind of impressive. It is really, it is really impressive. impressive. Top the yep. group. Yeah, topping the group against the likes of of uh, Belgium or Croatia is not easy. It, it's it not is easy. not. It's not easy. And Japan playing Croatia. Uh, what's your bet? Yeah. I, I'm I'm like ninety percent sure Japan is going to beat them. What about you? What do you think? Mm, it's it's a tough game. My take of is course. on my my take is on Japan. Japan scrapping a win at least at extra time. I don't see. Yeah, a game can go to extra time as well. At, we are uh, in the knockouts now. I don't now. see that now. Yes. It's going. It's going to be a tight win. Tight on match. Japan. Yeah. Uh, tight, tight game as well. Yep. It will be. I mean, you you see the discipline that they show on field while defending. 
that is incredible yeah yeah, I, yeah that's that's actually really incredible the discipline is way too high yes if they want to go for it they can go for it and then you could do some damage yep uh, they did some damage to be fair they did they did massive damage and uh, i even said it on the groups group uh, group stage group stage predictions don't yeah. sleep on japan japan can do some damage i i didn't predict them to top the group but uh, even i didn't but i was hopeful that they can make it through to next round i mean to be fair don't sleep on japan yeah. japan can do some damage and uh, my prediction has gone down horrendously and even though i had saw support for germany like germany and japan to go through that's what i predicted but if you play like that then the things yeah. going to help you yeah yeah if you ask me even spain do not deserve to go through an extra round if you ask me personal opinion spain is not going to progress to the quarter finals i am saying that with chess they're not going to progress morocco is going to be like prime real madrid at at some point <laughs> yeah i mean not not that i hate spain but i hate their their gameplay their game style it's yeah. it's too boring man it's predictable yeah and um i'm not, I'm not gonna i i'd better let it i'd better let the pitch do the talking rather yeah. than just speak randomly yep. at the podcast so uh, winding it up japan rose against the prejudices that were against them and they shone in the group and they might shine further let's see we shall find that out against their match versus croatia yeah. and yep time comes to cover the third team which didn't really start on that high note as compared to japan and i mean australia did fairly well uh but somehow they did qualify for the next round by beating portugal 2-1 even portugal was were, were playing were, weren't playing with their main team but win is a win and how you do it that's incredible as well incredible story for south korea well, south korea um also south korea had the same prediction as uh, as australia although they have they have uh, the likes of Hyung Min Son or King Min Jae of Napoli yeah no one predicted south korea to progress through sure they didn't top the group but getting a win against portugal it, it, it was way too important for them it was important as because as, if they hadn't yeah. they would have progressed to the next round Would have been over. No, no, they wouldn't. If, though, though we if, won't be uh, talking about how how bad Uruguay, how under uh, under their levels they are played. I'm not getting the word, but they didn't play up to their levels. Uruguay, you were we were expecting a lot from them. At least they would give a tough mm-hmm. fight, but they miss out. Yeah, they did miss out. I mean, they had um, similar points, well, but yeah. on in terms of they had a better goal difference, they could have. been true to an extra ah uh, yeah i mean south korea south korea uh, when they drew the first game it was easily the boring the most boring mm-hmm. game of this tournament so far true. then i saw then i saw south korea versus ghana five <laughs> goals in that game i was like Okay, bro. Chill. <laughs> and in the last ten minutes of that match, South Korea looked like they can score any time. They might even get two, three goals. Yeah, I mean, they tried so hard to get that uh, that draw yeah. against Ghana, but they didn't. So they had to fare for they had to fare for the final game against Portugal, which was a hard task to to do itself. Yeah. I mean, Ghana was. And somehow were, they they surprised us. Ghana were way too determined to let them score a goal. They were they were defending well. Let's be honest about that match. Exactly. It was just like drawing at the first half. Mm. I thought. I thought to myself, can they do it? Can they really do it? Can Can Portugal 
um, not perform at their highest, can can they let Korea win? Presumably, although they didn't, they did play well as well. It's just like it, it's not like they were letting them through every time. Yeah, <laughs> they did play the game normally, but uh, it's, it's just like some conspiracies, man. It's just like. Uh, Okay, so Uruguay, Uruguay is winning against Ghana by two goals. Now Korea needs a victory to go through. Uh, how can how can we do this? Um, shall we let Korea win, although we have secured the top spot? Are you saying the conspiracy it's, goes through? It was done intentionally. So Korea plays that? Brazil, and Brazil mm-hmm. goes through next round. Are you trying to say that? Probably, yeah. And by the way, just like, uh, yeah. Portugal will be playing Switzerland. <laughs> you see what I did there. <laughs> so it's um, going to be Sui versus Sui. <laughs> um, <laughs> but our focus no, is on no. South Korea. Yeah, uh, yeah, on South Korea, on how they progressed to the round of 16. I mean, I won't say they had a good greatest of the stories because they just barely made it. Barely. Just touching the yeah. finishing line. As soon as they started that counter attack, um, yeah, on the ninth second minute, minute, game over, done. It's yeah. a goal. Don't even bother watching. It. Don't even bother watching it. Yeah, it's a damn goal because because we knew we know we know how how Huang He Chan plays. He plays for wolves. Yeah. Yes, so yes, yes. We've seen him. We've seen him multiple times. He's you a know, deadly finish. He he is a great potential, but you know what? What I liked most about the about the team, that Son Young Min, he performed when it was needed from him to perform. He was up to the mark. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um. Also, at the die minutes, he also removed his mask so he could like uh, yeah. make his final push for the Korea victory. So yeah, I guess I guess giving your heart out for your national team That's a different is way better than your health. Yeah. I mean it's just one chance and, and that sprint he made to assist that goal, that was incredible as well. I know, right? It's just like Of course you won't be taking I, off Hwangi chance run as well. He 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 did compliment him pretty fine as well. Smart move, smart counter attack, smart pass. Yeah. And smart finish as well. It wasn't, it wasn't the finish, the finish you'd want to, but it was smart. It was smart. Very it was the finishing that was needed, or the one they wanted. It was needed. It was needed yep. at that time. Yeah, at that, at those moments, yes, <laughs> I would yes. take it. <laughs> and placement was Korean super fan, fine as well. If you're, if you're a Korean fan, if you're a Japanese fan, it's. Oh, I would like to the, thank the, you for that, for putting out those performances. Uh, yeah, and inspiring, yeah. I guess, inspiring the Asian subcontinent. Yeah, yeah. Like nothing is impossible. Only sky is the limit. No, yeah. Sky is the limit, indeed. And um, no one expected Asian teams to perform this well. Yeah. So, two Asian teams, sort of. Two Asian teams, um. In the round of 16. Yeah. Incredible. And of Such course, if we consider Australia into confederation, Asian confederation, they are there as well, 13. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, they do have some sort of agreement. Um, um, anyway, yeah. three Asian teams, uh, with Australia being the third one, which yeah. they will play tomorrow as we speak. And uh, Japan will play like three days later. Yeah, there's always a gap Japan? of three days, so that's how it's yeah. place for everything. Yeah, I mean, three days later, it could be at the same day as Korea, I think, or not. Could be, could be, could be, could be, could be, could be. Anyway, we are expecting more upsets. This tournament upsets. has given. Don't be surprised, guys, if that happens. The, yeah, I mean we've seen we've seen it all. We've yes. seen Japan beat Spain and Germany. It, we've seen South Korea beat Portugal. We've seen Saudi Arabia beating 
Argentina. It it kicked off with Saudi beating Argentina. So yeah, that's where it all started. And, yeah, and it finished with Cameroon beating Brazil. <laughs> Although that's a different topic. Different topic, yeah. <laughs> won't be going there. But yeah, one thing is sure. Japan and South Korea will be playing on the same day. One has first match, which is Korea will be... Uh, Japan will be playing Croatia after four hours of that. It's South Korea against yeah, Brazil. Probably. So, mm-hmm. expect, uh, what, what are your predictions against Brazil? Can they... Do they have even started those chance? Given the fact that Neymar could be potentially might not be playing. You never know. Yeah, I mean... Judging by how how bad he was injured against uh, Serbia, I guess yeah. I guess he he he'll miss he will miss the round of sixteen game. He might he just come be. from the bench. I I guess I believe it's important match for Brazil, right? Uh, yeah, it is indeed an important game, but um, I don't think I th- uh, I don't think Brazil. Uh, it's it's a fifty fifty for me, but um, I would have same, same reservations from my side as well. So yeah, guys, uh, it's three a, teams. Yeah, it's a fifty fifty for me too, and his prediction are same too. So yeah, we're gonna find out what happens in the round of sixteen by all the three sides, which we have covered in today's video, today's topic. And if you really liked our talk, do like us, do subscribe, guys. That would be really helpful and motivate us to keep putting out such videos and making those faces as well. <laughs>